Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game from the tabletop is called Noir Automata. This is actually from the uh, Penny Arcade's Automata, and it involves a game about cat and mouse between two people. You can play with additional uh, players in this specific one here because there's multiple games in this box here. But the idea is there's a criminal on the loose, and you as a detective are searching to find out who is the criminal. It's made by Level 99 Games, and it plays from two to four players. The game takes about a half an hour, 15 minutes to about a half now to play let's go ahead and check out what you get inside noir automata so here we have penny arcade and level 99 games noir automata and as you can see it comes with four different games and each of them are their own unique game that involves using the contents of the game which is cards and these uh, thicker cardboard slash wooden um, pallets here and what you're going to be doing with them for the most part is using them in a two to four player game of your choice they each come with the cards that are going to be uh, innocent cards here as you can see to find out who is not the killer and then these cards here which are going to be people as well as the deceased uh, in most of the games one player is going to get one of these cards to be a bad guy and the other players are going to get cards and then choose between them and find out who the good guy is and you're going to be using this stack of cards here to make a grid of sorts and then you'll be using your turns to try and solve the murderers we'll go ahead and talk about one or two of the games and then i'll let the rest surprise you let's go ahead and go up so like i said before there's four games in this little game here and you can choose between them this is in investigator versus the killer or killer versus inspector this one here is buddy cops this one here is spy tag and then you have last but not least dragnet you can play two to four players depending on the game this one here is a four player then you've got a uh three or four with teams, a three player, and finally a two player game. So depending on how many players is how many, um, what game you're gonna play usually, as well as the length. 10 minutes is for the two player, and it goes increasingly more difficult or lengthier, with 30 minutes being the highest for the three to four player game. We'll talk about Killer versus Inspector and a little bit about Buddy Cops down below. All right, so I've went ahead and set up Killer versus Inspector, and for the most case, all of these games are gonna set up very similarly. This is a five by five grid, and it's a two player game. However, in the Bed Buddy Cop system, it's basically the same thing Thing, except the two players will actually play as the cops and one player will play as the bad guy. We'll just talk about the two player one so you get an idea though. The bad guy will choose uh, two cards. One will be his identity and will be his costume which he can switch between throughout the game as an action. And the cop will get four cards to choose between them to be the cop player. So one of them is going to be the cop player and he'll set that one aside face down in front of him. And then the three cards in his hand are going to be his cards he can use to play to try and exonerate suspects he thinks might be the killer. So the killer has chosen one of the Players, and he and this is the costume and the player uh, that is the cop has chosen one and, the, and these are his uh, cards and then the killer will get to kill somebody whenever the killer kills it has to be adjacent to whoever he's next to so this killer is actually Rita which he doesn't know and Rita is right here so he has he gets to kill somebody and you just flip over one of these guys here just like that. Now the cop is gonna know now that at least one of these persons is the killer's identity currently. However, there's a likelihood that the killer can swap and he can choose to do that as an action. And players are gonna be taking actions back and forth. The actions are gonna range from moving the board like this, or moving the board like this, to also collapsing the board. If there's any dead players, they can choose to collapse the board and move things down as best they possibly can. There's another move in which the killer can switch his identity. The cop is able to play an exoneration card by putting this on there, which means that he knows that this guy is not the bad guy. Any cards that are in here are obviously not the bad guy. And so also when he exonerates somebody, the bad guy will tell him whether or not his current identity is actually next to here. So he looks over, he goes, oh, Rita, yes, I am, I am, I am adjacent to Malone. So now the investigator knows. Now the investigator is going to win the game if he is able to either A, accuse, which is kind of like Clue in which you just go and say, I know who not only your current identity is, but also your costume. You are Rita and Isaac. And to which point he would then flip over, the bad guy would flip over and go, oh no, you, you missed me. I was actually Whitman and Rita. So the good, the bad guy would win and the good guy would have guessed incorrectly. However, the bad guy, instead of, uh, the good guy, instead of accusing, it tells you what, what different things he can do here. He's actually able to accuse. And to accuse, he simply chooses an adjacent character. And if he accuses correctly, then he would actually win the game as well. The bad guy's objective is to kill either 10 people or to kill the person in which the investigator is, which is currently Kirby. Now, the, bad, the good guy is not going to be able to switch out his main character, but the board will be moving around, shifting, collapsing, and all these other great things, going back and forth with action to action. Whenever a card is played, a new card is drawn. So you're always going to have a hand of three cards as the, as the good guy. And whenever you play, 
play as buddy cops, it's going to work pretty similar with a back and forth motion between all three players, and there's going to be two cops in the mix. The two other games, which are it's Spy Tag and Dragnet, are a little more uh, complex and a little more deeper, but I'll let you guys go ahead and check that out if you decide to purchase the game, uh, Noir Automata. Let's go above and tell you what I think about it. So what do I think about the game? Well, first of all, this game's amazing. I love this game. This game has a great noir feel, and as it's called noir, so obviously, but it also has some great artwork. It feels like this robotic style. It's a robotic age in which you're playing against either in humans and as robots. You have four different games in here, and depending on the number of players, it's going to be better to play. So two players, uh, if you only have two players, you can only play one of them, but it's also the best experience with Buddy Cops playing that three-player variant. It's super cool. I always want to get the most out of the three, four different games you can play in here. And personally, I like the 1v1 because it feels like a cat and mouse game really like specifically it's very in-depth and you're like really worried about what's going to happen the killer and the hero the cop both have very good odds of winning so provided they select the right spots and remember things this game has a good amount of memory you're going to need to have in it because you're going to be switching things around moving things remembering what guy died and what guys were around them oh okay now this guy died after this guy moved this guy's probably the guy who killed the suspect now you know at least one of the, the the costume or the suspect's identity do you want to go all out and make that accusation and end the game virtually either winning or losing which you like in clue or do you want to go ahead and start making like, like guesses right like oh maybe it's this and this am i right oh no i'm wrong okay i can keep going uh but like i said there's always some downfalls to certain things you want to do so if you want to go and do that you have to be adjacent however if you're really nervous and you think that the 10th the you know, the 10th guy is going to be killed, then you have that one opportunity to make that accusation. So good. There was so much thought put into this and such a small amount of components. This has a lot of game in it for such a small game, right? And it has a thick amount of strategy. Overall, this game is excellent. It's one that's staying in my collection, and I've been playing this over and over again. I play this a lot, actually. I've given this out to friends to play. I definitely recommend this game. I suggest you check it out in the description below. 